and welcome to this special edition of Question Time coming from City University. I'm Matthew Tyzak. On our panel today, Alistair Stewart, OBE, has been working in TV news for 35 years. He's currently a news presenter for ITV. In 2010, he moderated the UK's first ever televised election leaders debate. Andrew Binner is a former English schools athlete and qualified Wimbledon Lion umpire. He has a degree in ancient history and has written for journals on the classics. He also studied in South Africa for a year. Is it time for Britain to intervene in Syria? OK, Andrew, do we have a duty to intervene? Well, to pick up what Alistair was saying, I think those wishing for military action and intervention are being dangerously short-sighted on two fronts, really. I think, firstly, you've got Al-Qaeda, who prey upon these opportunities to sort of increase their fanaticism in the country and get their points across. And you've got Putin this morning saying they have no special, Russia have no special relationship <laughs> with Syria, which I think would be too narrow-minded to take that at face value. And that's a whole can of worms we do not want to get involved okay, in. OK, Charlotte. It's also a lie. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'd be... Move on to our second question, please, from Matt Clinch. Are you knight being unpatriotic by threatening to strike during the Olympics? Andrew. I think McCluskey needs to be fired and, or, and or reprimanded by Miliband as soon as possible. <laughs> Here's a guy that has 200,000 people as Unite with the biggest union in England and he's calling for civil disobedience. That's going to cause absolute mayhem. That's not constructive in any way, shape or form. Okay, okay, I'm Charlotte. sorry, I completely disagree. One of the things which makes us proud to be British and one of the reasons I am patriotic about being British is the fact that we have free speech and the right to protest. The reason that our Olympics will be different to Beijing is that we will not clear away people's villages to make way for the Olympics. We will not lock people up in jail because they disagree with the government. I am proud and patriotic about free speech in this country. I hope everyone hears me. Okay, no. Andrew, come back on that. Charlotte, do you not think the Olympics, they're a celebration of peace and prosperity, and Len, Red Len, is using this as a, he's using it as a, just something to fuel his petulance. Okay, okay, Alistair, is it... Can the UK ever win Eurovision? <laughs> okay, this is the news that 75-year-old Arnold Dorsey, better known as Engelbert Humperdinck, is set to represent Britain in this year's Eurovision Song Contest in Azerbaijan. Andrew Binner, is this a winning move? Well, I think this is the UK throwing in the towel finally, isn't it? <laughs> so given our vigorous, great popular culture we have in the UK, we've got some cabaret crooner representing us now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think there's, it doesn't matter who we send, we could send him, we can send Blue, we can send me, and it's not going to make any difference, to be honest, is it? We're not going to win. Matthew, let's look at the stats here. We've got a guy who's having a song done by a Swedish composer with a name that's an ode to a German composer. And uh, <laughs> actually, give, given, our, given our history in the event, I think it's probably a good idea to distance himself from his British heritage, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Charlotte. 